What's up guys? Justin here with the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender landscape tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to check out combining a couple of the add-ons from the guys over at B Production in order to create a scene that has moving trees um, blowing in the wind. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright so we're going to focus on using assets from the tree vegetation add-on and the grass blade add-on in order to create a landscape scene inside a blender. And so notice that both of those are on sale during the blender market sale through the end of the day tomorrow so I will link to those in the notes down below if you are interested in checking these out um, during the sale would be a good time to do this um, we're mostly going to focus on the tree and vegetation add-on but this grass blade add-on is a really great add-on for adding things like biomes and plants to your models as well so what we're going to do is we're going to start off and I have enabled both of these add-ons. So I have the vegetation add-on and the grass blade add-on. So the first thing I want to do is I want to add some grass to this plane that I've created. So within grass blade, which you can find in the menu over here once you've installed it, what you want to do is you want to start by setting an emitter like this one and then you're going to add a biome to that. So in this case, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select a biome like this old meadow 05 and I'm going to click on the button for load old meadow. Note that there's an option in here to do this with proxies if your computer is a little bit slower. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and jump over into solid mode just for while I'm doing this but if we click on load old meadow what that's going to do is that's going to load in the geometry of the old meadow biome that's contained inside of this add-on. So basically what it's got is it's got multiple different kinds of grass, which we can take a look at by jumping over into material preview mode. But notice how there's different kinds of grass in here um, to make this look like an old meadow. One thing I'm gonna do just to speed things up for right now is first I'm gonna go back to solid mode. Um, that's probably the only thing I'm gonna do. We could swap this over into proxy mode, which would put a bunch of low poly proxies in here instead of these layers. But I think we're gonna be okay like this. So that's an easy way to add grass but then we can also jump over into the vegetation add-on and add some of the vegetation in here in order to create like animated trees so what we want to do is we want to click in here first and we just want to go really I just want to go in here and select the option for tree and so I want to find a couple different trees that are in here that we can use for our animation so for right now, let's go ahead and use the ash trees just because there's multiple different ash trees in here. So we're going to start by adding an ash tree. So I'm just going to click in here and then you can set this to either place this in the center of our scene or at our 3D cursor. So if I wanted to place the tree over here, right, I can just do a shift right click and place my cursor right here. But then all we have to do is click on the button for add tree. So when we add the tree, what that's going to do is that's going to add the tree geometry in here just like this. So now we have a tree in here and if we were to do a quick render, let's say in like Eevee, it's going to look something like this, but it's got to compile the shaders and I need to add some lighting really quick. All right. And so real quick, I just went in and I applied an HDRI and a white background shader that I've put together earlier. It's basically got an HDR image and then um, it's set up where it'll display a white background. So I will link to that video in the notes down below if you want to learn how to do that. I don't want to go too far down that path right now. But you can see how this renders out pretty nice in um, Eevee, but it's obviously going to render out a lot better in Cycles. So if I switch over to Cycles, you can see how this gives me a really detailed tree. Um, as a part of my rendering. But what we want is we want to take this tree, we want to animate it moving. So the way that you can do that is first off, we're going to jump back to solid mode for right now because it's going to give us this low poly representation. But with our tree, notice what this does is this gives us the ability to check the box right here to animate the trunk. And so if we check the box to animate the trunk, what it's going to do is it's going to automate movement of the trunk over time. So if I come back here and I click the play button, like this, notice what that's doing is that's automating this so that the trunk is moving. But if we also want to make this look like the actual leaves are moving as well, what we can do is we can also check the box for animate leaf. And so when you check the box for animate leaf, what's going to happen is the leaves are going to move as well. And so you can adjust the strength of that movement in your scene. So for example, you could set this so that the scale of that movement as well as the speed is stronger. So you could use that in order to make this move more or less, or you can use a preset, right? So you can use like a light breeze preset. You can use a medium wind preset and notice how with the light breeze, the only thing that moves is the leaves. 
with the medium wind, all of this is going to move, right? So you can see how this is gonna come in here and this is gonna animate that really quickly. And again, uh, make sure that you're previewing this in solid mode. It gets a lot slower once you jump over into material preview mode. So now if I do this, notice how it's like kind of, kind of moving along with this, but it's a lot slower. Then it's gonna be even slower if you jump over into rendered mode. So for right now, we just wanna take this and we just wanna set this up um, inside of solid mode. And I'm also gonna bring this tree size down just a bit. Um, it's a little bit big for the piece of grass that we had in here. But what I want to do is I just want to add a couple more trees. So I'm just going to do a shift right click. and I'm going to add another one of these ash trees over here. Notice how you can click on the randomize button in order to randomize the heights of the trees in here. So you can use this to make it more of a random look. But what I want to do is I want to set this one so that it has the light breeze preset. So it's going to animate the leaves. Then I'll add one more ash tree over here, we'll just do an add tree. And for this one, let's go ahead. First off, let's move it over a little bit. But then let's set this up so that this one has a medium wind. So that means this tree is going to move a little bit more when we do the animation in here. And so then we can go ahead and we can set up our camera. So I'm going to hit the zero key, then the home key, and then I'm going to go to view and I'm going to lock my camera to view. I just want to set my camera up so that you can see the trees moving like this. So I don't want to do anything special with that, just enough that we can kind of see what this is doing. But then the last thing I do before I render out any kind of animation is I want to do a test render of what the trees are going to look like. And for this, all we have to do is just click over into rendered mode. So we'll just adjust it so that we're sure that our trees are going to fit in the scene. And then we can render out an animation. All right, so one other thing to note is I'm going to render this in E-Cycles. So E-Cycles is a much faster way of rendering things inside of Blender. So the Cycles rendering engine is really slow, and I want to render that a little bit faster. So I'm going to use E-Cycles in order to do that. I will link to that in the notes down below. That is on sale as well. But that's something that's just going to save a bunch of time. So I will link to that in the notes down below. But now let's go ahead and let's set this up and render it. All right, so honestly, I'm rendering this over the weekend, and um, so what I'm going to do is I just want to get a quick render kind of showing what the actual animation of the trees is going to look like. So for this animation, I'm going to hide all of the grass and everything just because I don't want, that's going to add a significant amount of time to the rendering because of all the detail that's going to happen in here. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to turn off the grass blade collections. Um, I've also turned off my shading in the background. I've just got it as a standard background. Background. Again, I'm really focused on the animation for right now. And so the other thing I want to do is I want to show you the um, inside of eCycles, there's options in here. There's quick settings for quick preview all the way through like high quality. So for this one, we're just going to render this out with the quick preview function. So again, I really want to show kind of the way that the trees move with the trunks and the leaves more than anything else. So in hindsight, I probably could have just rendered out a single tree, but we'll go ahead and we'll do this. So I'm just going to put this on quick preview and then we'll just jump over and we'll uh, we'll set this up so that we're rendering as a AVI JPEG or maybe an FFmpeg video and then um, we'll just set this to render. So we'll just go to render, render animation and we'll just start this and then we'll come back and take a look at the final result. Alright, so if you look at this animation you can see how about the trunks as well as the leaves are moving. So you can look at this and see that this looks like the wind is blowing through the trees. If we were to zoom in a little bit, you can see some of the detail that's gonna be in the leaves. Remember that I did do this on the E-Cycles fast render setting. But overall, this is a great way to add animations to your detailed scenes. Obviously, the rendering itself takes a little bit longer because of the detail level, but overall, I'm very happy with the results. So I will link to tutorials both on the tree vegetation add-on as well as grass blade on this page. Um, you can check those out through the link on this page as well. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.